What's up, it's your boy Kai Tapper back at it again with Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. Last episode, I was very tired. <laughs> this episode, I have since slept and done a few things out in the day, and we have an egg with us. Oh boy. Depending on how things go, today might be a bit of a shorter episode. We'll see. Because I know there's going to be something that I want to do probably off screen, depending on how things go. Important things. Mailbox? RDM issue 2. Uh, old Toad settles in. It's come to light that after settling into life in our inn, Toadsworth, age 60, has often been spotted in the company of Zest T, age 55. The notoriously finicking Zest T surprised all when she was heard saying, What's wrong with spending time with my little total, total toes? The possibility such a comment opens has our eyes and ears glued to the situation. I didn't know about that. That's a bit much. Shop reporter, go! Our focus of attention this week, Pungent's Great Tree Shop. Pungent's easygoing management philosophy is, money and girls are fickle, so easy come, easy go, you know? He fully understands why his shop is busier, too. We're well hidden, but like any good treasure, we're worth looking for. He even has a special offer for RDM readers. For the next 15 minutes, I'll give you double shop points. Nah. Cooking for rookies. Spicy soup, steep uh, fire flour and hot water and pesto, you're done. The perfect first meal for kids to cook. Editor's note. We've been working all night to bring you this edition of RDM. Look forward to more hot, hot news in issue 3 coming soon. After opening that, I have 15 minutes to run to the great tree and buy things up to get double the shot points. It is wholly not worth it at all. At all. Oh, hey, it's, the, it's these three girls. We're the Rough and Tumble, Batlin, and Travel, and Sisters 3. Boy, those Major Leagues matches get us so energized. Our knuckles are what get white, our hearts start pounding, and we snack like no tomorrow. Alright, good for, good for you. That's lovely. Uh, now that we have the egg all settled, let's go... Let's go do what we need to do. You know what that is. Gonna be back here. Ah, here it is. Very nice. Wait, what's my? Okay, good. I'm full up. Reserve a match. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Fixing for a fight, huh? Well, alrighty then. Let me just see here. Your next opponent will be ranked 14 in the Glitz Pit, the Handed Overs. Now listen, son. In this battle, I want you to avoid using any of them their special moves. I think the crowd's craving a nice long battle at its simplest and finest. Now get in there and don't go a uh, grandstanding. So this is maybe one of the only chapters where you can see that there's a lot of procedural text. I don't know how you'd say it, but basically it's like you can see that they're pooling text lines from a from a pool because a lot of things are repeated. It's a very samey chapter, but I still like it. Like, as you can see, that's the seventh time that dude has said, follow me, bub, or something like that. Oh, no. Oh, no. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Grim Death Burglars. Yep, a fight to the finish with the handed overs. I'll try not to get in your way, Mario. <laughs> We're awful quick, awful agile, and just plain awful. Get yourselves ready, too. Battle! So... These dudes suck. What I'm going to do is I'm going to swap over to Goombella real quick. And I'm going to show you what I need to do. First off, Tattle on the Bandit. <clears throat> That's a Bandit. This scumbag tries to bump into you and grab coins. Jerk. Max HP is 5, attack is 2, and defense is 0. If you time your guard well when he attacks, he won't be able to steal anything. Plus, the look on a bandit's face when you guard successfully is priceless. If a bandit steals coins from you, defeat him before he flees to get your coins back. He can do... a lot. So basically, we need to kill as many of these dudes as possible. If I multi-bounce here... Uh... It... Mm, I'm gonna multi-bounce. Check that out. 
Oh no. My coin. Hmm. Oh jeez. As you can see, these guys are a lot to handle. And we're gonna tattle one more time on the big bandit. That's a big bandit. Basically a boss along ordinary bandits, or among them. Max HP is 8, attack is 3, and defense is 0. Unlike other bandits, he'll steal your items as well as your coins. Totally weak. If you guard well when he charges at you, he'll blow by without stealing anything. If he robs you, you won't get your item back unless you beat him right then. He'll run. Yeah, well. So actually, I need to go pretty hard, it seems like. Uh, a normal jump will save my coin, at the very least, so let's do that. My coin! Uh-oh, my coin. Okay. Now for the thing that I wanted to do originally, but I needed to, you know, get them out of the way first. Power Shell! Now, multi-bounce isn't going to do anything, and I can't use special moves, so just a normal will do it. I just need to make sure this guy doesn't steal an item right now. Oh, damn it. Really? He didn't steal anything? Even though I missed that guard? Okay. I'm not complaining. Don't stylish. Heck yeah. Wow, the first battle that actually gave us noticeable star points. <clears throat> we got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez. It's like at some point you just gotta stop reading the text because he just, uh. Well, he, he doesn't do it right. Here's the fight money. Six whole coins. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Egg. Hey, you're the latest G Dog? My boy said they saw a stunning babe having a juice at the fresh juice shop. King Cake used a little short and he's like, dig? Check her out for me, man. And so because he said that, I don't believe we're actually able to progress until we do that. Which is a little strange, but it is what it is. Okay. And let's see what we got here. <clears throat> We gotta get over to the juice shop. Fresh juice. Prince Mush, the first Glitz Pit champion, the fighter long since lost. He shone truly and brightly. Many fans still hope that he may dramatically return. Of course, I'm one of them. I long to see the poetry of his pure fighting style. And then there's this asshole. Bonjour, Monsieur Mustache. I wonder what flowers that beautiful mademoiselle likes. She is a, like a ravishing but thorny red rose, huh? We, she is thorny. If you were to perhaps pull out a female party member... Oh, wait, maybe it's only Kumbella? Oh, it's... Okay, I must be thinking of something else, but, uh... It, I think in the, if you meet him in Petalburg, he will instead, um... He'll instead start hitting on Goombella, which is odd. Hey there and welcome. Our doors are always open to for thirsty fight fans. This will sound crazy, but I really wouldn't mind being the strongest guy alive. I mean, sure, every guy dreams that once in a while. But the thing is, I once... No, wait, never mind. Good luck out there. Huh? The Great Gonzalez. No offense, man, but I don't follow minor leaguers. You wanna know something? That Rock Hawk is actually a total coward, dude. I heard this rumor that he rigged his fight with Prince Mush to make him withdraw. <gasps> scandal. Absolute scandal. <clears throat> now we gotta go back. But first, a save. Because we must always be saving. Oh boy. 
So in my idea is to... Not you. My idea is to turn this uh, chapter into a D&D fight. It wouldn't just be straight PvP fights, or, you know, just like party versus party. It would be fights that were about um, doing, like, maybe skill challenges. It would have to be more in-depth than just, like, roll initiative in a fight. I tell you, man, with all the young talent like you coming up in the ranks, I just keep feeling older and older, you know what I mean? Ken K ain't getting any younger. Did I actually have to check out that person at all? Apparently not. Boy, howdy. Uh, next point will be 13. Mind Bogglers. Now listen, son, in this battle I want you to avoid switching partners out. Gotta go with who- gotta go with who brung ya. A fight to the end side by side, now that's drama. Now get in there and stand by your card. So, do a battle up because we need to be able to tattle. And also she's upgraded, so it'll be fine. Oh boy, now we can hear Goombella's quote. Oh. Ugh. The Grey Entanglers fight to for the Mind Bogglers. We aren't gonna lose to scrubs like you. Prepare to be ensnared, mystified, and devoured. Get ready to battle! So ensnaring is the spider, devoured is the plant, Mystified must be the cloud. We also already have all of them tattled, which means this is basically pointless. So I'm just gonna power smash this guy immediately. Ta da! Multi bonk! Eh, I think just a regular head bonk will do it. Uh oh. Ta da! Now I just need to do five damage. Hmm. And two more star points, so now we're up to 20. This is a slow going chapter, huh? We got ourselves a winner. See, no biggie. It is no biggie, it's all fine. The fight money, six coins again. Rank 13. There's the egg again. Listen, man, keep it under your hat, but I'm thinking about retiring soon. If I stay any longer, well, my future might get shorter, dig? After next match, I'm gone. It ain't cool, man, that's for sure. But you know what? That's life, Double G Dog. Listen, you be cool, man. Promise me you'll forget you once knew the King K? Oh. There is actually something that I want to do, though. The thing that we could have been able to do, but I've been neglecting it, because I kind of don't really think about it. Now, if we go out this way... Down this hallway... We got all the security guards, of course. But... Where is he? Or is he not here? Oh, here he is. Hey there, Gonzalez. How's it going? Me? I'm doing a little research. Speaking of which, ever hear of the Seven Wonders of the Glitz Pit? Yes, this place has rumors and secrets and spades, but the Seven Wonders of the Glitz Pit are the most mysterious of the bunch. These things fascinate me, so I wander around doing research on them. Well, so how about it? Want to hear about the Seven Wonders? Sure. Heh. <laughs> Let's see, which one do you want to hear about? The Sealed Wall, The Man-Eating Toilet, Stairs of Mystery, Haunted Boudoir, Spooky Ring Lights, Missing Ones, Grubba and Jolene. These are effectively hints for the chapter in the form of Legends, and it's something that would go a long way to actually making a D&D module on this interesting. They say there's a sealed wall in the minor league locker room. Some say the remains of fallen athletes are stored in there. He's talking about the giant brick that we can't do anything about. They say in one of the arena's bathrooms, a man-eating toilet lurks. Some say that anyone who sees this toilet never sees anything again. 
They say there's a room in the Glitz Pit with a second floor, but no stairs. They say no one has ever gone upstairs. And some say that groaning voices sometimes come from that second floor. They say that the champion's room is haunted. Some say if you keep still in the room, you'll hear voices whispering from nowhere. Some even say the voices are athletes who lost to the champion. My friend's friend's friend told me about this one. He said he saw a strange light leaking under the ring doors when no one was there. He couldn't see inside since the doors were locked. I plan to investigate this myself. They say sometimes fighters disappear for no reason, never to return. Some say that the very first champion, Prince Mush, was spirited away in this way. And lastly... Grubba is a strange one. His body is incredibly toned, even though he's past 60. He must have an exceptional training regimen. Then, there's the matter of Miss Jolene. They say she suddenly vanishes at times. Some say a fighter saw her go into the bathroom and waited for her to come out. But she never did. You think that's stranger? You think it's stranger that someone stalked out her bathroom? Good point. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Gross, dude. Unless they were like, I need to talk to her, but she just went to the bathroom, so I just I need to I, need, I just need to wait. Just... <sighs> Mustache, you're a f you're a fighter now. Well, I suppose I'll cheer from the shadows, my sweet. I love her the most. Okay, let's go. Let's go reserve yet another match. I said it might be a shorter episode. I didn't say it would be. Reserve a match. Uh, next moment will be 12, the Punk Rocks. Now listen, son. In this battle, I want you to wrap it up in five turns or less. I got a date with a cute little chickadee in just a few, and I don't want to be late. Now get in there and bring this puppy home quick. Hmm. Hmm. It's always match time. Oh boy. Oh good, okay. I got concerned. For our next battle, Great Gonzalez and the Green Torture Squad, the Punk Rocks. This no take long. This end in pain for mustache. Get yourselves ready to battle the Green Torture Squad? That's a name. Wrap it up in five turns or less. So step one, tattle. Hyper Bold Cleft. Like Clefts and Ball Clefts, this is also a rock monster. The max HP is 3, attack is 2, and defense is 2. This hyper version can build up its energy, boosting its attack to 8 on the next turn. It has low HP, but its body is rock hard and pervious to fire, making it super tough. It says here that item attacks are pretty effective. Beat it before it goes hyper. I'm gonna take that one to heart. Mm. No, I could do an item attack, but... It's windy outside, by the way. I'm gonna use this. And hopefully this doesn't screw me over. Two. Three. Four. Five. Ow. I tried. I got so far. And we did it! How's that for five turns or left, huh? Less. Eh. <laughs> Got ourselves a winner. We rock. Hell yeah. Here's your fight money. Oh, seven coins. Well, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Egg. Though I must say, I need to go do this first. Just go save, because I want to go save. Take a rest. Maybe I did that in reverse order, but it's fine.
reserve a match. Next one will be rank 11, the Bomb Squad. Bob Bomb Squad. Use at least one special move. Crowd needs something flashy. Give them a good show. Blow the roof off, son. So, this has become an issue because I am now out of, of that. Oh my. Oh dear. Anyway, check it out. Four bombs, because why not? The Big Bomb Bombers, Big Bomb Boomers, a fight to finish with the Bomb Squad. Mark always the scrubs like you. Here we go, Gonzalez Bomb. I have I have advice. Just give up now, Bob Bomb. Get yourselves ready to battle. Use a special move at least once. How about I tattle? Ba bomb It attacks by blowing itself up. Real smart. Max HP is 4, attack is 2, and defense is 1. A bomb will get totally mad if you damage it. They have, like, super short fuses. When it gets mad, it will charge and explode on its next turn. That attack really hurts. Oh, and if it's mad, it will blow up at the slightest contact. So don't attack directly. Attack it from a step away with a hammer, or hit it with something hard like a shell. Get it? That said, uh, I'm actually going to swap two coops. And then I'm gonna appeal. Yes. Ow! Wow, they're fast. God, they're fast. And we're gonna appeal with you. Oh, enough. There we go. Now, Earth Drummer. I just need to get four on this one. Let's see what we can do. Two. Three. Four. Five. I don't know why I just hit it too hard now. Eh, it's fine. But still. Also, in case you have noticed, it ignores defense, which is great. Four more points. Huzzah. Cool, we would. Buh. Here's your fight money. Seven coins. Mario's ranking rose to 11. Now, if you excuse me, I must be going. Egg. It is quite lonely without King K around, Bomb. No lonely. Him too weak. Him not here now. Him... Now him not here. Sound normal to Clefdor. You weren't, Bomb. Denial, Clefdor. I saw you weeping in that locker, Bubba Hum. Right this way, Sir Swoop. This is your dressing room. You're starting in the minor league, of course, as you just now started your career. If you don't like this dingy room, I suggest you work your way up through the ranks. When you're ready to fight, just log into this computer terminal here. Mr. Grubbo will then decide who you'll match up against. You'll, you will have no say in this. Why don't you try it once? Just walk up to the screen and log in with A. Then pick reserve a match. See, they're building the lore because other people are joining it now. This guy probably joined because he saw us fighting. Howdy, sir. Swoop. Or get your wings dirty. There you go. First battle against the Goomba Bros. That'll be a piece of cake. Mop them up. Hey, we want to get the crowd fire up, so do a move. Do a move where you do a triple flip and meow. You got any questions? Good luck, Bard. Okay, your battle's reserved. At this point, you just wait until security comes. Fighting's pretty basic. It's just giving someone else a... This is maybe a first, giving, well, giving someone else the tutorial after we've gotten it. I was going to say the first time we've seen it, like an NPC get a tutorial, but then remember Wally from uh, Ruby and Sapphire. They teach him how to catch a Pokemon, not you, because you're helping him catch a Pokemon. Well, actually, no, I think they do give it twice then. That... The point being is that we're watching an NPC get a tutorial. That's just new, isn't it? <sighs> 
They're not saying anything new. Just do a triple flip and then meow. Fairly easy. If you satisfy the condition, you can fight a higher rank person. If you get up to 11th, that's all you need to know. Wait till security comes by. Um, hi guys. Yeah, my name's Swoop. Sir Swoop, I mean. Nice to meet you. You, yes you, Sir Swoop. Time for your battle. Follow me. Okay, security gears are screwed to the ring. Try not to get completely destroyed out there. Well, okay. See you later, Sir Swoop. Goodbye. Goodbye. Heavens to Betsy. I'm going to go save again. Because I feel like the thing that I'm waiting for is coming up in a second here. In just a hot second. Save that progress. Move over to Gumbella. Reserve a match. Ugh. Did I fix it for a fight? <laughs> you're gonna love this. Your next opponent is 10 the Armored Harriers. That's right, you're darn toot and you're finally gonna make a go at the Major League, son. We're expecting great things from you, so don't go letting us down now. Now that it's done in this battle, I want you to avoid using any of them their special moves. I think the crowd's craving a nice long battle as simple as can find us. Now get in there and don't go grandstanding. Oh boy. It's all it's match time. <sighs> this is the fight. Uh, the main event, Major League awaits the 11th ranked Greg Gonzalez. But only if he can beat the 10th ranked powerhouse, House is the Iron Adonis Twins. First, let's greet the merciless executioner in here, folks. The Greg Gonzalez. Gonzalez, kick their iron tails. Don't you dare lose, dude. Love that mustache. Hoo-wee, the Greg Gonzalez. How you feeling? Just perfect, thanks. Whoa, Nelly, you heard the fellow, folks. He's obviously itching to make it mixed up some. Yep, it's these fucking guys. Are those spikes legal? <laughs> Challenger is real confident, boys. He's talking trash. I heard Don's trans, he said, more like paper dog face bros, and I stink. And then he said, I bet they just play video games and cry when they lose. Yeah, and then he said, Audi belly buttons running their family, stink wads. And so on, yep. What? How does he know Mom has an Audi, that jerk? We're gonna blend you up and into a smoothie, pal, and then we're gonna drink you. Oh, one more thing. Only smelly stinkwads call their people stinkwads. Understand, stinkwad? Sober down there, bro. You, stinkwad, you're gonna regret opening your yap, pal. See these blods? Solid iron. See these spikes? Yeah, they penetrate any substance. So basically what I'm telling you is that whatever you try will be completely useless. Think that over in the very short time you have left with a functional brain. Get yourselves ready to battle! Uh... Hmm, that's some boss music. We're gonna do it. We're gonna make a major league if we win. Get psyched, Mario. Huh, <laughs> give up now. You stick wads, you're about to learn our ways, our skills the hard way. First up, put her out front, and tattle. That's an Iron Clef. The guy is scary. Max HP is 6, attack is 4, and defense is unknown. What's with this book? It says no attack will work against Iron Clefs. It says nothing in the world is as hard as an Iron Clef, so its defense is impenetrable. If that's true, the only way to beat one is to whack it with the other one. Running away may not be a bad idea at this point. What if I were to not do that and instead appeal? Now, this is the only match where we're not allowed to use much moves. Uh, I was gonna see if I could super guard that. That would that would have been fun. Maybe I'm not allowed to. And tattle the other one just to do a thing. 
Yeah, okay, so now I have two pictures. I believe they were 80 and 81. It's the same thing, but for some reason they're both different. Now I'm going to run away. We did it! We got ourselves a winner, the Armor Harriers. Bah, <laughs> how'd you like that? We tried to tell you, but no. If you want another piece of pummel pie, have a bath and come on back, punk. That is a supposed to lose fight. We could have won if we used special moves. But even if we won using special moves, we wouldn't have actually been able to do anything about that, you know? Uh, if we used a special move, we wouldn't have succeeded in the fight. So we would have stayed at the same spot. Actually, I don't I don't think the, the special move actually even hurts them. Our little eggy friend is gone. What a bummer. Where do you think the little guy took off to? Yo. No, this is fine. Gonzales, check me out. Thanks to you, I hatched safe and sound. Thanks, man. What? You, you were in that cute little eggy waggy? Whoa, that's wild. Yeah, but who cares? You guys want to be chance, right? You want you want a crystal star? I heard all about it while it was in the egg. Yeah. Anyway, I gotta repay you for saving me from that old hoggle out there. So I'll fight for you. I can hold my own. I'll swallow any appointment whole. Honest, just leave it to me. Huh? My name? Let's see. I just came out of the egg, so I guess I don't have a name yet. You seem fired up about it, so why don't you give me one? Make it cool, okay? This is our Yoshi Pal. They can come in a variety of colors, including, I believe, black, yellow, green, blue, black, and white. Yeah, I, I believe those are the colors. There's maybe one that I'm forgetting about. Uh, I encourage you to Google it because they all look interesting. Uh, the black one is my favorite, but this blue one is actually the one that I got uh, when I first played this game way back in, like, you know, 2004 or whatever. Now the question is, what do we name this boy? Do we name him something as a joke, or do we name him something neat? Oh, I, I know what I want to name. Name this Yoshi. How about... Kyrie, because it's blue. Okay, Tyree. Tyree, huh? Not too bad, dude. Not too bad at all. Yeah, I like it. Okay, Gonzalez, let's get out there and do some da damage. Do some damage. The Yoshi is now your friend. He'll answer to Tyree. You can tell me what to do. A primer. Press X to get on and off the Yoshi. I love riding Tyree. You'll move much faster. As evidenced here. Also, while on the Yoshi, if you press A, you'll float briefly in the air. In battle, you can repeatedly bounce on enemies using his ground pound move, or you can use his gulp to inhale enemies whole and spit them out for massive damage. Welcome to our new main. <laughs> uh, basically, yes, his abilities are not terribly great. Gulp is good, but it's for uh, it's it's four FP. Now, I want to just count this out here. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi. Nine seconds. Getting on Yoshi. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi. It increases our move speed by about a third or something like that. It, it, it reduced the time it took by three seconds. That's pretty fast. That's... That's a fair increase in speed. So we're just going to be riding him everywhere from now on, because it's just so much faster than walking. This sound, though. This is just the sound that you'll hear forever now. I suppose this will hit our pattern, though. Sir Swoop, what do you have to say? Those hot dogs outside are amazing. If you have trouble winning, definitely try one. But... 
more importantly, I think it's just time to uh, go to sleep. And then when we come back, we're going to take on those iron clefts again. And we're going to beat them because we're cool like that. This was not a short episode. I was planning on uh, resetting to try and get a different color Yoshi if I got one that I didn't like the color of. Uh, what changes that is I believe it's every couple minutes or so the color will change. So if you take a bit longer to fight the Iron Harriers, um, you will change what color Yoshi you get. And you can kind of, you can manipulate this uh, over time, but it's still difficult to do. That said, peace.